Hi, it's Amber for CUTV covering Mental Health Week. I'm here with Simon Baron Cohen, who's going to give a talk today on Asperger's and mental health. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your work with the Autism Research Centre? Yeah, so at the Autism Research Centre, uh, we're looking at causes of autism and the related condition of Asperger's, but we're also looking at what helps. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got research at a basic level, looking at genetics and brain scanning, Mm -hmm. um, to understand how development is different in autism. But we've also got um, applied research looking at uh, interventions, mm -hmm. sometimes special education for children on the autistic spectrum, uh, and sometimes treatments. Um, and I, th I think it's very important to have both, both kinds of research in parallel. Definitely. Um, what do you hope that students will take away today from your talk? What would they learn from it? Well, I think that um, autism and Asperger's syndrome, sometimes people think of them as diseases, mm -hmm. and they are medical conditions, but I don't think they're diseases in the simple sense of being all bad. Mm -hmm. um, so although they do cause disability, and that's where support is needed, um, they can also involve talent, and that's what makes you know, this particular condition or set of conditions a bit different mm -hmm. compared to other medical conditions. You know, usually we think of the goal would be to have a cure uh, where you could be free of the condition. But I think in the case of autism or Asperger's syndrome, um, certainly we'd like to find things that help to alleviate particular symptoms, mm -hmm. but it's not as if we're seeking a cure because autism and Asperger's is part of who the person is. Definitely. It's almost like an aspect of personality, mm -hmm. uh, which doesn't need a cure. It just, we just need to be able to support the individual to fulfil their potential and, and to be happy. Mm -hmm. So as with all kind of mental health issues, do you think that there's a, the main problem is stigma then surrounding it? Uh, well, stigma is part of it, and so it's good if we can eliminate stigma. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the other side to it is about the fit between the individual and their environment. Mm -hmm. So um, people with autism or Asperger's syndrome, if they find themselves in the right environment, can do really well. Definitely. But if there's a mismatch between, if you like, their makeup, what they're, what they're like as, as a person, mm -hmm. and the expectations around them, then it can lead to you know, them feeling unhappy and get secondary problems of depression. And part of what I'm going to be talking about is um, you know, that the mental health aspects of autism or Asperger's are preventable if we can adapt or modify the environment so that there's a better fit between the individual and their surroundings. Brilliant. Thank you for talking to CUTV. Okay.